Uta here of Trans Widow Uta Hagen YouTube channel. My uh, evening studio is set up and I'm using the shadows. <laughs> I used to teach the science of light and shadow and the shadows of my little things are um, kind of cute <laughs> right there. I'm enjoying that. Now I want to start this by um, Oh yes, uh, I also want to give you my uh, WordPress blog, which is utahagengrasswidow.wordpress.com. It's in the notes almost on uh, with every video. Um, I wanted to just talk about the connections between the um, infiltration of this drag story hour uh, groups um, into schools and uh, just kind of try to thread through that it's part of a whole ecosystem where the teachers are indoctrinating, they're making all these pronouns rules, they're encouraging kids with uh, pointed or inadvertent um, uh, behavior modification they're influencing children to, um, you know, identify as something else besides who they really are, and then hiding it from the parents. I mean, it's it's a, all these layers of subterfuge, and I just want to relate the subterfuge of drag queens, you know, with the heavy makeup and the fake uh, bosom and, you know, everything that they do. Um, uh, with this layer of subterfuge that has been inappropriately introduced into schools. Um, and, uh, you know, as a teacher who specialized in math and science, uh, I, I, I find this offensive in so many ways. Um, and so I'm just going to mention this case in Scaniatalis, New York, which is um, not too far from Syracuse. Uh, there's a, a lawsuit by Michael. This is a Michael and Jennifer, and this is a Greek name, Vitsaksaki, Vitsaksaki, something like that. Maybe I didn't do too badly. Um, they had spent a decade in Greece. They are American, but that this child was learning Greek. She had a hard time adjusting back to the stateside existence and, um, and got, you know, like sh this kid probably was speaking Greek more fluently than English at this point, And she's being sucked into believing that she's supposed to be male. I mean, none of this makes any sense. She might be missing her friends in Greece. She's having adjustment problems. And, the school is grooming her into the trance. So I'm saying to myself, gosh, Scandiatalis, New York, what they were famous for was being the town where they made those little wooden trains and little blocks and stuff. It was, uh, I can't remember the name of it. I know it was in Scandiatalis, though. Anyway, I, I ordered them. My children played with all these wonderful toys. You know, it's it's just really odd that Scandiatalis is, is besmirching itself as a town by doing this to children. So and now I'm going to segue into this whole thing about the um, uh, way too many, even if it's not a majority or if it's not the norm, way too many um, drag queen story hour drag queens who have been convicted of um, having child pornography on their devices or uh, have actually um, damaged children through this uh, sexual touching, um, this this sex molestation. Um, I don't like to call them pedophiles. Um, pedophiles is too kind of a word. So this is from uh, The Daily Signal. Uh, second drag queen story hour library reader exposed this means an adult who is reading books to kids. I'm also offended at the choice of literature and the ridiculous way they read. You know, this is this is not um, any kind of a benefit to the children. 
Um, okay, so his second one um, uh, was uh, convicted. And uh, okay, so here's the picture where we've got that one circled. I showed that on a recent video as a, a trailer for this. And uh, it's so odious that I, this is take two. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to speak a little faster and, and gather myself here. So, uh, okay, so this was actually 2019 um, Mass Resistance, which um, our wonderful uh, Shannon, no, Tracy Shannon, Tracy Shannon, uh, uh, the uh, trans widow who had interviewed with quite a few people, Boyce, uh, on the Benjamin Boyce YouTube channel, as well as Michael Knowles. Um, and she, she was physically assaulted by her husband, and it, it really um, dragged out, pun intended, for her with this lengthy thing. Um, and finally she left him. And, uh, you know, similar hardships to me. Um, she's part of our data. So uh, Houston mass resistance activists exposed a Houston public library drag queen as a convicted child sex offender. Now it turns out that a second one was convicted of multiple sexual assaults against young children, according to records uncovered by Houston mass resistance. The man had also written a lurid article describing his work as a prostitute. Um, and so this is, this is like all out there under whatever names he uses and stuff. Um, and he was photographed at a drag queen story hour carrying a rubber chicken, which is apparently some kind of a symbol to young boys. I'd never heard of that. <laughs> I thought it was just sort of a, like a three stooges, uh, um, you know, stunt, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I can't think of that kind of con slapstick, <laughs> all these names, drag, slapstick. A lot of drag is sort of slapstick. It's very broad, um, crude humor. Uh, this man is a part of a local drag group brought into the Story Hour events. This is Houston Public Library, and he's part of a national anti-Catholic drag queen organization, which is probably called S Sisters of Perpetual something or other. Uh, it's becoming clear that, that the outrages we're exposing are not an anomaly, but more like the norm. I'm not going to try to say that... <clears throat> that it's more the norm or the, you know, majority or anything of, of men who um, dress up as an exaggerated imitation of women. <clears throat> However, all of these cases bring up the fact that we are not engaged in uh, appropriate and necessary child safeguarding. While initially did not, okay, this is Bryce Williams in Pennsylvania. While initially denying any wrongdoing, <coughs> excuse me, Williams would admit to searching for possessing and uploading child sexual abuse materials after investigators found exploitative videos on his phones. He also told police that he first saw child abuse media in 2014 on a messaging app and that he eventually started uploading the files to cloud storage websites to trade files with other child sex molesters. Williams performed as a drag queen under the stage name Anastasia Diamond. Since his charges were announced, internet sleuths have uncovered videos and pictures of Williams performing for children. In a video uploaded to his Instagram from 2017, Williams is seen dancing and strutting in front of a crowd of youth at the Pride, Pens uh, Pride Festival of Central Pennsylvania. And of course, we have a lot of things going on at these Pride parades that, that are really inappropriate where we've, we've got... Um, various, particularly men, but I think both men and women in various stages of undress and children are being encouraged to actually go touch them and be, you know, picked up by them and stuff like that. And, and the, uh, there are naked men on bicycles and all this kind of shenanigans. So the next one is Jane Mer, excuse, excuse me, <laughs> Shane Mernon, uh, uh, of infamy for a videotape titled Something Very Big. While working at a, as a fifth grade teacher at Will Rogers Elementary School in 2001, Mernon, then age 30, was arrested for possessing child sexual abuse materials and a little bit of marijuana. 
Two weeks prior to his arrest, police seized a number of devices, compact discs, and floppy disks from his home. We're going back in our, in our technology here. Digital forensics conducted by the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation uncovered images of male children engaged in sex acts. Following news of the charges against him, administrators at the elementary school suspended him with pay. He was later freed on a $20,000 bail pending an arraignment for the felony charge of possessing the child abuse materials. Now, um, you know, think before you download all this onto your computer, you know, just really. Uh, the charges against Mernon were initially dropped by a special district court judge after he ruled the individuals depicted in the imagery could not be proven with certainty to be below the age of 18. I don't find that plausible. 18 is really grown. Children are children. I mean, this doesn't make any sense. But after several hearings, an appeals court judge determined that it is clear from a review of the pictures that they do re represent child pornography. Despite this confirmation, charges were dropped. <laughs> Dismissed. Following the scandal then, he uh, resigned from that position at the Will Rogers Elementary School and only faced a misdemeanor drug charge. And then, right around the same time, he began performing as a drag queen under the moniker Chantel Mandalay. As reported by something, uh, some, a media outlet called, uh, called V-I-S-U-T. After beginning his drag career, Mernon continued his role in educator positions at a couple of other schools, Little Axe, Prairie Queen, teacher, teacher trainer, landing the role of assistant principal. His new position was in a much larger district. Oklahoma City Public School data reveals that Mernon's positions have been held in schools where students were particularly vulnerable due to language barriers and economic disadvantages. While working in his role as an educator, Mernon used his Chantal Mandalay Facebook page to both engage in school-related subjects and post inappropriate personal content, inclu including photos of him and his current lovers or boyfriends in sexual moments. In 2018, Mernon co-founded. So he kept on, and he keeps on trying to be in a setting with children. Co-founded Oklahoma City Drag Queen Story Hour. <laughs> That's an alphabet soup. Many of the events Mernon was involved in organizing took place within the Oklahoma City Metropolitan Library System Oh, during COVID lockdowns and featured Mernon reading to young children. So I don't know if those were demo young children or if it was uh, all remote or what. Um, as far as getting fired for stuff you've posted <laughs> online, um, I heard of a teacher, a female teacher in New Jersey getting fired for uh, being frustrated while she was uh, uh, in her car um, in her frustrating commute um, to a difficult job. And she just simply posted on Twitter, um, I'm heading off to the zoo. I think she was fired. Um, and I don't know. I, I think you could get a letter in your file for that. It's, you know... Uh, I think posting stuff of yourself in some kind of sexual uh, position with uh, anyone <laughs> is, um, you know, when you're publicly uh, doing this and you publicly say what your drag name is and all this. And then uh, the other thing that I want to just mention about uh, the whole drag phenomenon is when I was figuring out what was going on with Nettie, my ex-husband, when I, after I discovered his cross-dressing diaries, um, I, I said, so, like, are you going to some place where that's this drag stuff going on? Because as a dancer, I found I had been a professional dancer until I was 27, and, and, um, and I, I said, you know that I found that kind of choreography to be sleazy and distasteful, and I didn't... I, and, and he got all offended, you know, because drag is completely different than someone who's born in the wrong body. That's, you know, and he was um, not at all positive about this whole drag thing. Um, so uh, something has happened where these are getting threaded together. And not only that, um, 
Uh, the two former prostitutes, who, former escorts, um, s who contacted me about cross-dressing guys and the special services that they will pay for, um, uh, they also mentioned um, some of them were drag people and sometimes they would, uh, you know, go to a drag show like with their client or something. But the thing is, there's a lot of illegal drugs going on there. There's a lot of cocaine. And in fact, in some drag shows, they imitate, you know, the, the gestures of taking illegal drugs. So... Um, and, and so much of this is just out there online, like kids are already savvy how to search for things on the internet at age eight or so. They're getting exposed to all this over-sexualized content and pornography, which is, is very bad for them. It, it continues all the way into adulthood when they um, have been so desensitized to inappropriate sexualized um, images and behavior, body language, that then they have sort of a, a sexual romantic shutdown. They can't function in the world. And this is, uh, I'm not saying it's all because of this drag stuff, but you know, um, it's just not so harmless. Um, I, I just, never liked it. I never, I think a lot of us are waking up to the fact that we women call it woman face and woman face is insulting. So that's it. We got through it. Hopefully there isn't something else hitting the fan that I have to <laughs> post about drag queens again. I like to call them dairy queens. It's probably insulting to the ice cream maker, but I don't know. It's a Wisconsin thing. Good night.